Hey, it's Scott from MacChain. In this video, we are going to look at chain stretch. What is it? How to measure and calculate the percentage of wear in your chain, and what we can do to drastically reduce the wear. Coming right up. The term chain stretch can be a little misleading. The chain itself is not actually stretching and getting longer. What's happening is actually called elongation. As chain is in motion on the conveyor, moving in and out of the sprockets and articulating, physical impact of metal on metal eventually leads to the chain wearing out. Elongation is when the inner components of the chain start to wear or deform, causing the chain pitch to grow. In the case of welded steel chain, the typical wear is on the ID of the barrel and the OD of the chain pin. Elongation due to wear is the leading cause of chain failure in most applications. To get an accurate measurement, you want the chain under tension. A come along may be necessary. So to get our measurement, we need access to at least 10 chain pitches. Once we have access to our 10 pitches, there are multiple points we can get the measurement from. We can take a measurement from center to center on the chain pins. We can take the measurement from the left hand side of the rivet head to the left hand side of the rivet head, 10 rivet heads up. We can take the measurement from the ear of the sidebar to the ear of the sidebar, 10 pitches up. So here's the formula to count the percentage of wear or elongation in your conveyor chain. Elongation equals our measurement over 10 pitches of chain minus the chain's actual pitch times the number of pitches counted. We divide the number of pitches measured by the actual pitch. We then multiply by 100 which will give us our percentage of elongation. So here's an example of a chain we just measured. WR124 is a 4 inch pitch. Our measurement over 10 pitches is 42 inches. We subtract the number of our pitch times the number of pitches we counted, which is 40. So 42 minus 40 leaves us with 2 inches of wear divided by 10, which equals 0.2 or 200 thou. So 0.2 or 200 thou divided by 4 leaves us with 0 0.05. 0 0.05 times 100 equals 5% elongation. So if you're like me and you don't like doing the math, I've included a downloadable sheet that shows the different percentages of elongation for each chain. At 3% elongation, we recommend that you start monitoring the chain closely. At 5% elongation, the chain is technically worn out, so you may have issues with the chain riding up on the sprockets or chain breakages. In that case, you might start the process of getting another chain on order. Well, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. For more tips on how to extend the life of your chain and sprockets, you can watch this video on the correct direction of travel of welded steel chain. Also don't forget properly made sprockets will increase the service life of your chain and sprockets. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next video.